Demigo looking for Kenny Ryan who steps across deep. He's got Demigo up high, but Ryan is down on the ground, and Demigo trying to get to it. Back up at the line. It's kept in by Trevor Smith. Wins one toward the net. Loose puck. Backhander scores. And the Marlies put the Wolves down three games. Well, you talk about just put the puck at the goal, and that's exactly what Trevor Smith does in this situation. And Jerry D'Amigo picks up the loose puck. So Jake Allen can't see the puck until the last second. It hits him, and it squirts away from him. Jerry D'Amigo gets a couple of opportunities, but at the end of the day, he chips it over top of Jake Allen, the goaltender for the Chicago Wolves. And the Toronto Marlies have a stranglehold in this East Western Conference semifinal series. Now lead 3-0 over the Chicago Wolves. That is a huge win. Drew McIntyre kept the minute, Bob, when he needed to throughout the entire third period. And Jerry D'Amigo salts it away. Let's take a look. Well, Jerry D'Amigo again. It's just Kenny Ryan gets in on the four check. There's Jerry D'Amigo trying. The puck comes around the wall. Trevor Smith beats it from getting out of the line. He throws it at the goal. And D'Amigo gets two cracks at it. I thought that Jake Allen robbed them the first time, and then he ends up getting a second opportunity. I thought he, oh, he whiffed on the pass right there, but Allen can't scoop up the loose puck. And Jerry D'Amigo with the overhead shot, you're going to see a great shot. And right there, the second opportunity, the third try. So three times a charm, and Jerry D'Amigo gets his league-leading 10th point of the Calder Cup playoffs, and the Toronto Marlies now have a 3-0 lead in the series.